Hi everyone, it's Paul Tilly, and welcome back to our third in a series of making treks. Today I'm going to take you on a trail that rides around the perimeter of Clarenville. It's about 42 kilometers, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the trailway heading west. We're going to go to Triner's Pit, and then we're going to take the White Hills Forestry Road that will bring us around behind White Hills, and we'll see some of the sights there. And from White Hills, then we're going to take the new Labrador transmission line to the trailway in the east. And then we're going to come back to the trailway and return through Clarenville. So, this is a rather easy ride. It's mostly on trail. There's uh, no real concern. So, you can do it on running, you can do it on bikes, fat bikes, snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs, you name it. And you could walk it, I suppose. Uh, and again, there are points where you can make it shorter or make it longer. What I'm going to do is take you around the full perimeter and you can decide whether or not you want to make it a little shorter than that. So as we're going through, I'll highlight to you some of the shortcuts that you can take. Anyway, so without any further ado, we're going to start here, which is on Shoal Harbor Drive, at the base of Shoal Harbor Drive in Clarenville. And um, so let's begin. Thanks for joining us. So this trail starts off by passing under the underpass on Shoal Harbor Drive and what we do is we proceed west along the trailway and you'll see it's a very lovely uh, trail going up through the Shoal Harbor Valley. I just wanted to stop here and show you the fish ladder. Friends of the Shoal Harbor River, a great group here in Clarenville who have done a lot of work to ensure uh, the preservation of this river. This river has a uh, I think about nine species of fish in it. Salmon being probably the one that's most noted. So this is Clarabelle's water supply. So really anything above this you don't want to be swimming in. So this uh, is our weir here. And you can see quite a few. critters flying over there. And you can access the other side for Huntley Drive. And there's a beautiful trail over here actually that walks in further to the Trans-Canada Highway. So this way here is the Trans-Canada Highway and this way down here is uh, the Shoal Harbor area. So here we're continuing up through the Shoal Harbor Valley. This uh, the mountain that we're looking at here is uh, looking at what we call the Cyan. Uh, we cross under Trans-Canada. Here's the underpass. As we go up through the Shoal Harbor Valley you'll see here I've got an aerial that's looking up the highway, looking to the left, looking up towards Gander. Here we are now going along the trailway and the mountains are on our left and the Shoal Harbor River is on our right. You can see it from the aerial view there. This goes up three or four kilometers um, to where we're headed, which is Triner's Pit. You can see this kind of peaky shaped mountain as you move towards Triner's Pit. In Triner's Pit, on the right hand side, you can uh, go to the trailway. On the left hand side, you take the, the White Hills Resource Road. And this road loops right over to White Hills. under the Labrador Island link here and in fact you could turn left there go up the, the roadway that goes up the link and come out exactly where we're going I'll point it out to you when we end up but we're going around White Hills Resource Road here it gets a little bit confusing just after the line here there's a number of roads going left right and so on we keep to the left so this brings us up towards the Shoal Harbor Pond now and as you're coming down this road, in fact, you can take a right up here and go in towards Shoal Harbor Pond. There's a big sand pit in there. Uh, it can be a little bit mucky, but it's a beautiful pond if you can get in there. <clears throat> We're going to proceed up the hill. Here we are up, going up now. And here's a view from the top. So we're looking out over, we're looking uh, directly west there now. This is Shoal Harbor Pond. This is a road we just came down. As we move around, you can see that's Clarenville out there in the offing. And we're looking over some cutovers here. 
And this body of water is called Lou Pond. It's a long string pond. And it feeds into the water supply as well. And as we move even further right, the road continues. This is where we're headed. And you can see Prairie Pond out there in this distance. This is the Lou Pond stream that we cross. And as we move in along this road towards White Hills now, you can see the road's in decent shape. And here's kind of an overview on Prairie Pond on the right here. White Hills is on the right, those mountains in there. Beautiful ski area in there, especially uh, coming into Prairie Pond on the, the Cross Country Ski Trails. Fantastic. Now, as we go along that road, eventually it'll break out on pavement, which is White Hills Road, White Hills to the right. We go along the pavement so far, and we're going to turn right. Now, as I mentioned to you a little while ago, you could have taken the Labrador Island Link uh, just back there a couple minutes ago driven across and come exactly to this point so we're basically headed down uh, headed east now on the labrador island link and this roadway is much the same as this right through and this is going to go five or six kilometers and eventually we'll break out on the trailway To the right, you can go to Goobies towards St. John's, and the left, you go back towards Clarenville. So we're going to turn left here, and we're headed back towards Clarenville. And I think it's probably five kilometers or four kilometers back to the start of Clarenville. And here we are moving into the start of Clarenville. There's the access to the hotels on the right. Uh, you can see the Clarenville sign here. Be really careful going through Clarenville. The trailway cuts across probably six or seven streets and they're pretty heavily trafficked. So you really want to ensure that you look both ways, stop, follow the signage and directions. This is the Dark Hall River, beautiful river, beautiful bridge. And um, we're just about to cross underneath the Trans Canada as we move into town. And this is a, a tube underpass here. Now, so Clarenville is in sight now. This is the first intersection you hit. Then you're going to hit Memorial Drive and Barry's Avenue is coming up here. And then uh, several other streets as we move along. As we get through here, on the right hand side, you know, it's the view of Brandon Island. The, the the sound there, the marina, all beautiful views, nice, particularly on a nice day, so take it all in. You go past the uh, the railway museum here, and here's Locomotive 900, and a passionate car, as well as a caboose, and we have a couple of other assorted pieces of railway. Um, you cross the road here, this is pretty busy, on the right-hand side you'll see Bear Mountain Coffee House, beautiful place to visit, if you want to stop for a coffee or some dessert or something. And uh, as we go along here now, we're to the right of us is Shoal Harbor. And we basically come back along here and we're moving up to the Shoal Harbor River. And that, that's basically the whole route encircled. It's uh, about 46, 47 kilometers. And you can see from the aerial perspective, here is our route down the transmission line, back the trailway, through Clamville and back to the Shoal Harbor River starting point. Anyway, it's Paul Tilly again. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it.